Hello YouTube yes. once again welcome to the depression this is Discovery More channel the only channel that brings about everything you need to know as long as, long as free energy generator is concerned for some time now we have been on how you can build your free energy generator especially in this global world where the price of gas is getting high and this is very high and I've heard a lot of a lot it will be a lot done out a uh, high cost of obviously because of this uh, gas issue and, you know remember we have a problem between russia and ukraine and most of the gas supply comes from russia and because of the sanctions that have been given to russia when as case maybe we all have to survive so uh, the gas situation has been so pathetic in europe and because of that the price of crew oh yeah gas and everything and so and this is why I always encourage my subscriber to shift we are in the war of change and you know change is the only constant thing in nature now look at what we are talking now the price of oil is getting increasing the price of gas is increasing and even the cost of LCC also is very high what do you need what exactly do we do to solve that problem now is what we are talking about you know when this vision of educating people on how they can build their friendship comes in, uh, many people are criticizing the vision, say it's not really, it's not working up uh, and calculating. But today, in reality, we have seen so many people building, we have seen electric cars driving without fuel, we have seen a uh, solar system, we have seen a lot of things going on in the whole world. Systems that are going on without the use of petrol or gas or anything but run freely. This is exactly what we are doing now here. Today I am going to show you something very very fantastic and I believe it will help you to solve some issue. You know some time ago somebody asked me a question that he wants to convert his 5 kVA generator uh, petrol generator into a fuel system and he has an issue on doing that. Although I've done a video that earlier in years back on how you can do that but I have still have to improve it because Things I keep improving and can making more research on this energy so that I'm able to have a better way of doing this. So because my priority is to see how people can produce this system in a very least cost. Because that is where people have need have an issue now. People are having an issue on how to produce in the the cost. The cost is very, very important. People are having to pay more about the cost because people say the cost is very high. This is another that. So, so that is where research is going now. How to reduce the cost and how to make things easier for people to get. Because if the cost is reduced, then what not? If you can use light without uh, paying for a dime and you don't spend much, it's very good. So, now, this is a system. As well. How do you convert your petroleum generator, let me say 5 kV generator, into a fuel system? That is what we are doing now as what i'm going to talk about today my intense study now is going to be based on that what do you do how do you do what exactly do you require for you to convert the system no there are different methods of converting the generator system to different things and i'm going to talk about that every method on different men. now one of these methods i'm going to talk about today is how you can dismantle the system completely when you send dismantle the system completely and you just use the automator now as you see in this system now you can see that the system is completely dismantled you see that the everything here is being removed you, you see all the bed is the retrieve motor and see the generator output here this is what i'm going to start talking about now this is what i'm talking about you see now this this is the generator the is the art where you pluck the cables some of you are used to the generator a very Muslim part of Africa, you know where this one belongs. This is the outward aspect of the generator where, where it links to the alternator. This is alternator now. This is the alternator where, where the light is being generated. You know, I've told you years back a generator has two sections. The mechanical aspect is the place where you put the fuel or the gas. And then the, it is not the mechanical that produces the light, it is the electric aspect, which is this one. What the mechanical does, where you put the fuel, you put the gas, or whatever you call it, or diesel, any you can, whatever you're using to, to power it, it only uses to duplicate the, the, the uh, call it, uh, replicate the equipment to enable the equipment rotate at the speed at which the this can be able to produce the 5 kV 
uh, you know, to the light you're looking for. So the, the way, uh, we call it uh, the RPM, the speed at which the director runs. So that is what the function of the petrol, the gas, the diesel, and also on. That is to educate the collaborators, to, to, to make this the sulfur, to rub on the iron and make the iron rotate as fast as possible without cracking. That is where the oil, oh yeah, where the oil oh yeah, does. So that is exactly what this now is. When you separate this one out completely, what I have here now is the electrical aspect, like what you see here now. And this is the extension, this is the cable that extends to the, the output aspect where you plug your cable. This is where you plug your cable, as you see, this is you plug your cable. Now, this is the alternator, or you can call it the electrical aspect, as the case may be. Now, this is completely dismantled. You got to be dismounted, and then this place now is sealed, is cover. You can design your own cover and cover it now. Now, what you got to do now is you're going to now do an art construction. That is where we have the flower now. And then you construct the bed to link up so that this in this place now we have a pulley. The pulley is what that now linked to this. This is a cable, as you can see, so now is linked to this pulley on this on this generator on this alternator. Uh, system so the, as you cover it there's a pulley that link to this uh, bed so from then now we have this also another another uh, pulley here with the bed now this pulley with the bed it helps to link up to this system we see now this is what you see it there now have you seen now this is the electric motor this electric motor that power into the power source and initial power supply to supply it the electric motor power that enables you to start then from there you now disconnect it now you can see that there is the bed that connects between the the fly the flywheel or call it pulley to the electric motor pulley now that is what you are seeing now here now in the other section now you see it here now that there is a, a connection now with a bearing here this one linked to this one and then there is a bearing yeah, this building now uh, immediately seems to connect to this upper upper connection now. Then we have an appearance here, an appearance here. Do to make enable the flower to rotate. And I've told you more about the function of the flower, what the flower does. So I can't talk about that again. If you don't have a knowledge of a flower, please go back to the channel. You see some videos on on flower system. I'm talking about now. This is where this link to now we have now come. We have this one now. We have an apple here. This, as you can see, this pulley now link up to this generator aspect. What you see now, into the generator aspect now. This is what it link to this one now. So that is why you see this. There's a, a linkage between this generator and this connection now. What you see it here. This what you see now. Now, very simple. Do not see it now. As you can see now, this this is the cable now. Have you seen? Have you seen the cable now? The cable goes directly to this generator. Now, this is the output system. This is the output, this generator phase. Some of you know what is this one L. It is the generator output surface where you plug your cable. Now, this cable now is the one that leads to the your house. This cable leads to your house, and this one is also can use it to test. So now, when this the generator is completely dismantled, now the the system now you introduce pulley on that. Uh, alternator, you now need to escape the, the pulley to this metal. If you don't want to use this metal, if it's too difficult for you, you can just link it directly to the electric motor. That's simple. If you want to do without flyway, you can link it to the electric motor. But what I'm trying to tell you is that this is completely dismount. What the ma what we carry from here oh, is only the alternator. Let me explain it better. You can remove your generator. You have a hook you know, like of this nature, 5 kVA. What you just need, if you cannot do it by yourself, meet a, a mechanic who has good knowledge on generator, ask him to remove the smart generator, remove the tank out, remove everything. He just give you these two things one and two. Now take this into a weather, let him construct a pulley that will attach to the generator because I've told him many times without no matter. It is not the what the fuel or the gas that enable the light to generate. What make it is the rotational speed, the the, the, the turning. 
So if you are able to turn your generator on a speed at which you can be able to generate light or the required RPM, because every generator has a stated RPM. RPM is rotational per minute. That is where the light comes in. So now, as this happened now, you dismantle everything now, and then you carry this on the ground just to enable you to get the, uh, the output and then construct a polyput here. The light continues. So that's where you have what we have here now. This is, you can see it now, this is the, the output system. So this is the where the connection goes is now, as you can see, the cable and this cable land link to this, the normal the normal uh, alternator now and that is what we have now if you look at critical on the system now let's look at the system you can see it now this this is the you can see the the, the control the control board where the output control, this is where the light now comes in. You can see the cables now linking to the alternator. See the alternator here now. See the alternator here. This alternator here. Now you can see the connection now. Now it, this is how it works now. You now you move, you now see the directory motor. See the directory motor here. That they connected to the power source. That is the structure of the system. The, con the tanks, the everything is removed. All the two just see the alternator and then the the train motor which you buy and attach. This is the easiest way to form your own, your own uh, conversion. Of your system. Now, see, 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 see the system. You see the lights, the wrap, the wrap position. System. You can see the meter position system. See, see how it is. 